This is a piece of the world's first business computer. Is it from IBM, Hewlett Packard, Microsoft? No, they were beaten to it by J. Lyons & Co, a company better known for making cakes. And if history had gone a little differently, you might be watching this on a Leo. In 1950, if you fancy a cup of tea or a slice of cake, then here's a good place. A Lyons tea shop. It looks like it's from another era. And so it is. The future. You see, behind the quaint exterior, Lyons is building a new breed of worker. It all starts when they hear that mathematicians in Cambridge, England are creating an electronic brain. Could such a thing crunch numbers for a catering empire? Lyons cut a deal. They'll help fund the research in return for a working model. Three years later, Leo is born. This is state-of-the-art 1950s IT, small enough to fit on a single floor of Lyon's head office. Its mercury-based memory can be a touch mercurial, but when it's firing, it holds a full two kilobytes of information. Or about a side of A4. OK, not much processing power by 21st century standards, but in 1951, it's more than you'll find inside any other business in the world. And enough to seriously power up the process of selling tea and cakes. Every morning, tea shop manageresses across the country ring head office with their orders for cakes, scones and sandwiches. They are fed into Leo, who converts them into binary, digests the information and spits out the orders to be delivered to the tea shops. But the genius of Leo is that it's not fussy about its input. It can process just about anything, from tea blends to payroll. Calculating a payslip used to take eight minutes. Now it takes 1.5 seconds. For management, it's a revolution. No need to rely on gut instinct when they've got up to the minute analysis from Leo. Bigger firms start to take notice and buy time on Leo to do their own computations. Kodak, Ford, even the top secret nuclear weapons program, Blue Streak. But Lions are thinking ahead. If everyone wants their computer, why not sell computers? They set up Leo Computers Limited to build more advanced machines, until a British catering firm is poised to become the world's first IT giant. Of course, that's not quite how it turns out. Leo can process any kind of business, but businesses can't process the idea of buying computers from Lions. In the end, the Americans catch up and overtake, and it's IBM who take over the world market in business computers. Leo Computers is swallowed up into other companies, its pioneering days behind it. Of course, its legacy remains. The information age, now part of office life.